Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Just thought I'd share with you two books that I have up for sale. They're Peter Rabbit books. Um, so they measure six inches by one inch. So that's the first one. And this is the second. So that's, and that's the back. So this is material here. And this is actually from the book itself. I've actually glued onto the envelope. No, I remember. I used manila folder. For a manila folder and then I put a gloss over it just to protect the actual paper itself. This one has got cheese cloth here and Peter Rabbit himself, um, a flower that I've made out of pattern paper, some corner trims and some lace flowers here. And this one here is also has some cheesecloth here, a flower made out of pattern paper and a bit of trim here and a flower I've made. It's also backed onto some snippets and bits and pieces. So we'll go through one book at a time. So we'll call this Peter Rabbit One. Okay, so I've just got a tie here that I've made up. That's the tie. And that's the view from this side. So we have some paper beads and laces as tabs. So that's the side and it's all being stitched around. Okay, so this image is also out of the book. Okay, so we have Once Upon a Time and then you can write little notes in here and that just slots in here and that goes like that and just pops in there and it has a butterfly for a stop and here you can put photos or anything in there got a little trim here that is the material up there and next page and that's a flip I'll just move that over a bit it's a flip. So you've got all this for journaling or putting baby pictures in. And that's a pocket here. And it is a cluster with buttons and flowers and some cheesecloth here and some lace. On the other side, there is some material there. And that just closes in like so. And this is also out of the book and you also got another pocket in there where you can put more in little yummy goodness in there. Turn the page. So this is for journaling. And then this tag here flips. So you've got all this area as well for journaling. And I just put a bit of tape here to hold that in. And there's one of the beads that I've made. And there's another little pocket here. I absolutely adored this page, so nothing went on it. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. It just had to remain blank. I mean, as in no Sally embellishments. That was really hard not to put embellishments. Okay, next page, there is a pocket here. This is from the actual book itself and then that folds like that and we have a journaling tag and that slots up in here. So 
So that's that there. Sorry about my puppy again. She does not like anyone out the front of the house. She's a good protector. This is an envelope that I've made and popped in. Um, I actually used a piece of Daphne's diary, made it look like a stamp. It says Peter Rabbit, um, a bow, and that's just been stitched in. And then that opens over and you can pop something in there. So that's just made out of a book page, which I have sprayed with blue to give it that effect. And this is just for journaling. And that's a little pocket up there for Peter Rabbit. Some material pieces here. And then this bit flips out and you've got a little bit for journaling, writing secret stuff. So that pops back in there. And we can you can colour that in or put something over it. It's up to you. We've got some more material here. And over here, um, it's just a tide. I'll just pull it off. Which I can't because I attached it to the thing. So, and that's just for journaling. And we've got collage, and then I gessoed over the top just to tone it down a bit so you actually see your pen work. And sorry about my sniffling. Winter in Australia. And that just ties back up again with Peter Rabbit on the front with cheesecloth backed behind him. So we'll just tie that back up. Not easy with nails and that's a pocket in here a pocket in here and there I have stitched some buttons onto some nice floral material and that just pops back in there and this one is a corner pocket and we have Peter Rabbit here. And this is more journaling booklet in there. And that's the back. And that just pops up in here. Here, and we've got hearts for centre. Here we have a tag. And that just slots in behind there. And this opens out. So there's more journaling here and then there's a envelope as well where you can write more. I haven't fixed it together, glued it together for that purpose where you can write on it and that just slots in there. So all the pages have been stitched with a grey cotton, not black. I didn't want it to overpower with black, just grey. And next page, journaling spot, and that just tucks in there, another bit to colour or put photos around. There's some more um, material. Next page, we have Peter Rabbit again, and for journaling, he just slots in in there on that corner. That's, sorry, that's material up there. Just little blocks of it. This is a doily and that is also a corner bit in there where you can tuck another smaller one of these in there like so. Oh, actually quite just fits. There we go. Next page is another booklet again. You can just write something there. So that goes in there. Got a bit of material down here. We have Peter Rabbit again, and we've got some journaling area. And I believe this one pops out again. And so you've got all this area here. 
and that just goes back in here. Next page, so there's material. I love this page, so I didn't really put much on it. I thought it was good for journaling. And I put a little boy in there. Isn't he cute? Uh, and there's a tuck bit under there. And there's more of some material bits and pieces there. Okay, over we go. Another tag. Some more material. Um, we have a bit of lace here, button and some flowers. And that just slots in there. This one's a nice big tag. And you've got journaling for here. And you'll have all this journaling or photo area. Next page. Peter Rabbit again. Um, you can actually pop another tag up there. And I don't have one available. So we'll, we'll pinch one. So turn that around. So that goes up there. So it can go in there. So I couldn't put it that way because that would hinder it. And that goes in there. Where are we up to? Okay. Um, so, yeah, material here. And we've got dingle dangles here. That's a flower that I've made. And I just coloured it blue. And here it's... This is I saw from Gail... Okay, here we go. Um, a I can't pronounce her surname. A gag, a gag, oh, okay, Gail. Um, she used um, some photo sleeves. These are your ID sleeves, you know, where you put your ID in, your ID card. So I, I wanted a smaller piece. So I stitched them in. You can actually take those out and put a photo of your little man in your life. And yeah, and you can journal about it. So that's one, two, there. So I learnt that idea from Gail. Thank you, Gail. And over here, we have some more journaling area. There, and here you have some pockets where you can put some secret bits in there. Just an image that I had, a flower that I've made up. Uh, more from the book, more hearts, and there's another pocket in there, and then so that's the center piece there. So there's more flowers, a rabbit from the book, a butterfly that I had that was blue, a lot of lace trims, a gathered bit that I gathered using the sewing machine, um, a copy of a doily. So that just slots down in here. And we have some uh, material. Over the page, um, I put a vintage photo of a family with a little boy sitting there. And that's just a cluster on a paper clip. And what did I do with this? Hold on. We're caught. We're caught. I always seem to get them caught. Oh, it's an envelope. I've forgotten that I use very thin paper, like tracing paper. And there's some journaling in there. So I'll just... And then there's got a nice big card. And you've got all that journaling area. So I'll pop that on back on later. Otherwise, that'll take up too much of your time. Over the page, um, just another lot of Peter Rabbit's characters and himself. And this one here is a pocket in there. And it's just got some lace, a bow that I've made up here, and more for journaling. And that's a flip. And I just put down some tape that I made up. And the words are the meaning of the word story. Um, also a bow that I've made, a little bit of trim that I gathered on the sewing machine. Material over here. 
Here's Peter Rabbit again. And over here we have another tuck spot in there. And material again. And we've come to the end of the book. So that's the end of this book. And that's the back. So, and that's the side view, top view, front view. Okay, so that's book number one. Book number two. To do that. I have tried to make them a little bit different. So, but once upon a time again, now that's funny, I did try to make them a little bit different and then I say, oh, we've got this again. But we all need once upon a time. And then that's just some writing. So you've seen that, and some brads just holding that down, and that flips out, and then there's like a little growth chart, probably mean one month, two months, three months, or one year, two years, three years, and I put the word dream. Over the next page, there's a pocket and a tag in there. And the slots down in there. A belly band that I've made up and another journaling card. Material has the beads again, the paper beads with the lace, cotton lace. Over here, we've got a little boy super cute and then that flips out and then we've got a tag here and it goes into there and a little piece for writing secrets in and that just goes over the top like that slide that over a bit so we can see this little image and over the page, another piece from the book, and that's a pocket. And another card that goes in there. An envelope that I've made up again using Daphne's diary. And I made that look like a stamp. And it goes in there. Another bit up there, and a card, and a clip up here that I have a leaf and a bow, and that's holding. So that's that. Love right now. That's holding this, which you can pop. It's just a bag, so you can pop something in. I cut, stamp that cut the circle the out and just put a bit of clear plastic in there so that's how I did that and that just pops back on here and I don't want to bore you too much with me getting that on so I'll do it after um, I have it's a boy, so you can also put more cards or photos in here. The journaling area, that's also a tuck spot in there. And some more area to pop, to pop in some more photos. And this says little one. And you've got more for journaling or photos. Over here is another tuck bit with journaling card and then this one here I've got a bit of trim here opens out and then opens out I actually took this from the book this piece because I thought it was super cute and then that goes back in and then you've got a bit here and you've got a love heart up here 
So I didn't end up bogged back in there like so. Okay, so next page. There's more journaling. And we've got this bit here. And you can journal on there. And that just tucks back in there. I have a pram that I put some blue lace on and a blue butterfly and some flowers on the wheels. And turn over, we have a tea bag tag. So that's the tea bag bit and the tag and the string. Um, another bit in there where you can put the tag. And then that again folds out and you can write growth chart or something in their milestones and there's Peter Rabbit again and over we go and that folds down and you can write in there and then it just goes back up again and there's a bit here that you can slot something under here, like so. And then more journaling area. And the Peter Rabbit again. On a tag that flops out. A bit of colouring can be done on this one. And here, and then there's a pocket in here. More journaling area. Hopefully you're seeing all this. Journaling area, Peter Rabbit and the book characters again. Um, journaling area. And it says blessed with the meaning because we are blessed when we have children. Um, some tape that I've made up. A bit of material over the side. And again... Peter Rabbit and another journaling tag and that pops in there and this booklet we saw it before it just opens out into a writing page and we have a lady vintage lady with her baby over her lap super cute and then it's a pocket in there and I've got it's a boy with the hands and then on this side it's just a, a bit from the uh, actual real book so that can go in there probably put the baby's name up there next page another bit to color that's another again a pocket and so it goes there and I made up one of these uh, coin majiggies. <laughs> I just covered a bag with um, paper and punched the holes, put breads through, and it just ties back up again. So you can put little first haircuts or anything like that that you want. It to keep but not lose um, that's a it's like a bottle top without having the bottle top and it's got the, the bit over the top of it to make it nice and shiny and over the last page there's just an image from the book and that's the back so yeah and that's what it looks like on the side all its bits and pieces so yeah so these books are for sale if you are interested please let me know um, in the description box I'll put my email and, and you can contact me through messenger via Facebook I'm using my name of course and yeah um, just to let you know this is a a passion for me I do not charge a lot for my books because I do understand international postage so yeah okay so please if you haven't please subscribe to my channel um, I need friends 
um, leave a comment if you like and also give me a thumbs up. Okay, have a good day. Bye.